The glitch effect, that's something that I'm going to teach you guys today thanks to Soggy Boy because he posted a question on Reddit and he asked us, I want to create a glitch white noise type of effect but I can't find any tutorials for the white noise type thing. So this might not really be the white noise type thing, however I'm still going to teach you how to do this glitch effect. You don't need the studio version, you can just do this in free. But before we start, my name is Rico Richardson. I upload weekly videos on DaVinci and Darktable. So if that's something that you're into, please consider subscribing. Now let me show you how to do that. You're the one I trust. Right, so I've got two clips here, uh, which I've taken from Pexels.com. It's a free stock site. I'll put a link in the description down below. Now let's play the clip and show you how that looks. So it's just a bunch of guys riding a motorcycle and someone's indoor skydiving, which I've done myself as well. And it's very, very fun to do. So I can highly recommend you doing this. Lisa gave this to me as a birthday gift. I think it was about a year ago. I had lots of fun. So. Uh, let's uh, show you guys the glitch effect. First, we need to zoom in a little bit and we need to go back four frames. One, two, three, four. And we're going to make a cut. And we're going to do that again and again and again. And now we've got four cuts with each four frames. Guess what we're going to do? Back to this point and forward four frames. One, two, three, four. And guess what? We need to do this four times as well. So now we've got eight parts of clips and four cuts or whatever you want to call it. So let's select all of them by dragging a box. And we need to hold alt and drag it upwards one time, two times. So we've got three individual clips. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the first clip and the third clip and the first clip and the third clip. So let's place the marker over here and let's click the first clip because that's the clip that's on top of us. Now we need to go into the color page because we need to change all three of these clips. When you're in the color page, sometimes this will jump for whatever reason. Make sure you always select the right layer. So like I said, we're going to start with the top one first, then move to the second one, then move to the third one. And you'll see the changes that will apply somewhere over here so uh, this is the second one this is the third one and let's go to here this is the rgb mixer and i want to change these clips and i want to keep the reds the greens and the blues so i'm going to leave the red output as is dragging this down dragging the blue down and i want to drag for the green and the blues down as well so that we only see the reds because you can see as we're starting to move this down we only have a red clip over here now I want to do the greens in the second clip. So I'm going to drag down the reds and I'm going to drag down the blues and I'm going to drag down the blue and the red in the green output. So now we've got a green clip and guess what? We're going to do the same thing with the third one, but only for the blue one. So now if all goes well, you have a blue one, we have a green one and we have a red one. And we only need to do it here because we're going to copy and paste these effects onto the other clips in a minute. So let's go back to the edit tab and we only see the red one, but that's exactly what I want to do. However, to get this effect to work, we need to zoom in the image a little bit. So let's zoom it in 1.05. So it's zoomed in just a little bit, but that's all we need to do. And we're going to change the position a little bit to minus 16 or 18 or as long as it stays in frame. Otherwise, you'll need to zoom in just a little bit more. And I want to change the opacity as well. We've got the composite mode in normal and we're going to change the opacity back to let's say 25%. And you already see that something is happening right here. Something has been offset and that's exactly what I want to do. So let's change the green one. So we're going to drag the green one to the other side. So plus 16 and you see we need to zoom in. So we're going to do the same thing. And I want to change the opacity once again to get this nice look. And you guessed it, we're going to do the same thing with the blue one. I'm going to offset that by minus 18. Right, so we don't have to address all these things and all these different clips. So right now we're going to copy this. So right mouse button copy and then we're going to select this clip and we're going to select that clip by holding control and we're going to select this clip we're going to hit the right mouse button and paste attributes 
And in this case, we want to paste the color correction and everything else. So we need to check this box. Apply. So now this effect is applied to these clips. We need to do the same thing for the green one. So we're going to copy it. One, two, three, right mouse button, paste attributes, apply. We're going to do the same thing here. And we're almost there. Just hang in there. So now I want some frames to skip because this would look good if we're going to play it back. I won't, but trust me. And in this case, we just did four frames, but I want to delete two frames and I want to delete those two frames within the color effect. So we're going forward two frames. So here's two frames. We're going to create a cut in everything and we're going to delete it. Now there's an easier way to do this. You can just, I'm going to delete this. You can just ripple delete everything. So just get your shortcut for that and then do it. So I'm going to do the same thing in this clip and on that clip and on that clip. And the reason why is because the frame skipping will really enhance the glitch effect. And now that we've cut the two frames from the color clips, I want to cut two frames in the other clips as well. This one, so not the first one, but this one. And I want to cut it in the first one as well and in the third one. So now we've got one long one and we've got these shorter ones. Now watch what happens if we play this back. If all goes well, we should have a great glitch effect. Let's have a look. There you go. And that's how you create the RGB effect. All you gotta do is offset the reds, the greens, and the blues. Now DaVinci does come with its own glitch effect. It's in the fusion transitions. You can just add and drag and drop them onto your clips. I'm not going to show you how, but you can even add it to the effect that we've just created. So it's got that little bit of extra sauce. That's it for this week. I really like to hear your thoughts on this. And if you're going to use it, feel free to just create a clip throw it onto your Instagram, tag me in it. I'd love to see your work. And if you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you have subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button down there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, do it.